everyone, this is Tyler from the Longhouse Podcast. Gonna do a quick rundown on plate carriers. Uh, if you know me, it's probably not gonna be quick. It's pretty long-winded, so buckle up. This rig is my main rig that I use, and it's still newer. It's uh, I've had it for about five, six months now, shortly after they came out with it, um, but it's the Haley Strategic Thorax. First of all, I love this plate carrier. Um, it is very good as a standalone carrier. Um, it's probably the most comfortable carrier I've used for wearing it for long periods. I have a uh, Hoplite slash LTC 26605s in here. So they're level fours, they're not super light. They're, uh, yeah, they're actually pretty, they're actually pretty heavy. So I run those in here. Um, so it's kind of a heavy rig and I have it loaded out for a decent amount. So kind of start on the main plate bag portion. I have a Shaw Concepts uh, admin pouch. This is newer, so I had a phone, a first set here, phone board on here. I replaced it with this guy because it can hold admin as well. Um, so originally when I bought the rig, I got it with this Haley uh, TRMP, the triple rifle mag placard. placard. And um, once I went to assemble everything and I got it all set up and stuff, I realized I didn't have an adequate spot for medical. So I popped that off, threw it in a bin, tried to sell it, and uh, nobody bought it. And then um, I threw the Haley D3 rig on here with a foam board. So the Haley D3 rig can hold quite a bit. Um, I pretty much just use it for maps and stuff though, so I can still keep it low profile uh, if I want to put an extra notebook or you know, whatever in there. But kind of my idea is that I can keep my the front of my rig fairly slim by putting bulkier items in here. So I keep my uh, notebooks in here. I, like I said, I can put my phone in here I have a charging cable routed into here, so if I need to charge my phone, I can put batteries in here, whatever I want. On here are pistol mag pouches that I never really use. Um, if, sometimes if, uh, if I want, I can throw a knife in here, because if you're wearing a belt with a leg strap or whatever, um, it usually gets in the way of your knife. If you're not wearing cries with a nice little pocket on the front, then having a place to put his knife. So flank that, I have two cry 762 embedded pouches. I use these pouches because I can do a little bit of everything with them. Uh, I can fit two mags in here. I can fit AK mags in here, 762 mags. Um, or I can tuck the flap and there's a little loop on the back. Uh, and it comes with a piece that's Velcro here in bungee. So if you want it in a bungee adjustment here. So I could put a water bottle in here or radio or whatever else. And um, I can secure it. If it fits, it ships. Um, on here, I have a knife. It's uh, an EC3. EC, uh, Actually, I still don't know how to pronounce that company. S here, EC. And then um, here I have a Shaw radio wing that I keep my XTS2500 in. So one thing I do really like about this rig is that it has these um, this stretch material right here over the, um, over the buckle. It's nice, obviously, because it, for cable management, it's really great. Um, so my... I have my radio on a antenna relocation cable and that goes through here through the shoulder pocket into the back where my antenna is at. Push to talk, hook it up, any extra cables I shove in there. Charging cable for my phone because this Shaw pouch has inlets right here. Charging cable goes in here into the stretch material through here so it's nothing, it can't snag on anything. This is all still clear. Once I have this on and I can, you know, even tuck the extra in for this antenna relocation kit and uh, you know, keep everything to where I'm not gonna snag wires and pull things out. So to kind of move around, um, this charging cable goes into, and the antenna relocation cable go into the back where I have a back panel. So this is one of the biggest downsides to this carrier. So it doesn't come with zippers, which is fine because Haley doesn't have zip on back panels and everybody uses proprietary shit right now. So I got the Ferro Concepts um, zip adapters. Now the thing that sucks is that you, you're not enough columns wide toward the top for it to fully secure the top. So I had to use 550 cord and attach it to the shoulder strap where the shoulder strap kind of meets the plate bag. So uh, it's not an ideal situation. I'll probably come up with a better solution. I really don't put a whole lot of weight in these. I'll do a separate video on back panels and kind of my like philosophy behind them and how I use them because it's a little different than, than I've never seen it done before. Uh, it's, uh, it works, so it might give you a good idea, but that'll come out later. Um, but yeah, my charging cable goes to here that I put a charging cube in and 
Then as far as the uh, medical portion goes, I have a uh, Ferro Concepts Roll One on here. And then on the sides, I have the chicken strap cummerbund. The chicken strap is super nice because it's uh, it's very thin. You know, your mags can fit on here and or whatever pouch. There will be excess hanging down, so if you're not a fan of that, it's still secure. Um, but this is pretty rigid. It's like a gun belt. It's very well padded on the inside with this spacer mesh. And it still allows you to breathe because it's pretty small. And then the insides are just regular padded. It's kind of like a closed cell foam, like a sleeping pad. So not something that can really absorb absorb the heat or anything. Uh, and then as far as my antenna goes, I just have a Harris broadband right here that this cable goes through the shoulder panel into the, the little loop for the ferro and then rolls up and gets this guy. I got Ranger bands securing it here. And kind of the main reason why I, I use the Ranger bands is so I can quickly take it off. If my relocation kit uh, stops working or something breaks or whatever, um, I can pop it off or if I'm abandoning my carrier for whatever reason or if I don't need it. Um, and then on the top I have Ferro Concepts uh, shoulder pads. I like these a little bit more than the Haley shoulder socks they call it or whatever. Um, sleeve socks, whatever, because you can open it and you can route your cables through here and then close it. So if you're done with the cable, instead of having to route it through like a big stretchy condom thing, um, you just pop this open, put that in, throw that there. So, you know, if you want to add in the Ferro um, hydration pocket and then stack this out, you're going to run a hydration tube. It's not a pain in the dick with the huge end piece to route it through. You just put it in here, fold it, and you're good. So that's kind of my main rig. Now I'll run on to my secondary rig. So my secondary rig is a Spiritus LB119. Um, I have, a, I had a spare set of plates. Um, they needed a home and I always usually will swap out my secondary rig. And that's kind of what I'll use to test things out while I still can maintain the same primary rig if I like it. In this case, like the thorax. So on this one, it's set up kind of similarly, but it's a little scaled down. So um, you'll notice on here, I have um, the Shaw elastic placard, and then I have 340 rounders on this. So this carrier holds two less magazines than my thorax does. So to remedy that, I put 340s on the front so I can only carry 30 rounds less. Yeah, Shaw placard, it's an elastic placard. There's really nothing special with it. You can put uh, chem lights or markers there. And then there's this uh, little thing for a tourniquet right there. Um, it's it's pretty basic. And then I have two ferro wings here. I have one for my radio that I hook up a cattail antenna to, and then one here for a spare magazine that uh, I use to refill my other pouches. Right here I have the ferro K Tar K Sar. I don't know. It's got Haley MP2s in it. Whatever pouch that is, I got it off legit kit. Um, I don't think that they really sell it on their site anymore, but I got it because it was cheaper than the Haley uh, mag pouches, and I kind of regret it because I like the Haley mag pouches better. So there's that. Um, and then this just has a Spiritus uh, small pouch. I like it because it's Velcro lined, so I can put a pad in there um, for my nods, or you know, in this case, I'm running like a water filter and some gun lube and gloves and. Some stuff I just had for a day of scouting out an area um, for an upcoming trip and shooting. Uh, on the back, I just keep it slick. Um, Faro Roll 1 again. I really like these for vehicles and to have quick access. If you're riding in a vehicle, this provides lumbar support. It's extremely comfortable, and if you're not in a vehicle, you don't even know that it's there. Um, you can reach it from with both arms. You can pull on this, yank your shit out, and um, yeah, so it's just great. And then I just have my cattail antenna kind of rolled up here, stay out of the way. So one thing that a lot of people will go on about is placards versus not placards. Um, when the placard system started becoming really popular, like with the Mayflower and the, uh, the Mayflower APC with the Haley rigs, that was kind of like, I think that that was when the Swift clips really started to take off. Um, I was not really a fan because I thought it was kind of stupid and I thought it was just a way to sell you more shit. Um, well, it is still a way to sell you more shit. It is beneficial for you as the end user. So the reason why is because for a scenario, if you're running this rig because you're driving a vehicle or you're in vehicles, you're getting in and out. Um, or let's say that you're approaching an area and you have kind of a slicker rig and 
you know, you want to keep it low profile, you got a jacket on or whatever. Whatever the case is, you want your front to be slim. You can have something like this. If you take your magazines out, you still have your armor on, and this is not really a thing, right? It'll, it'll shrink down over time. Um, so then when you approach your target and you want to, or if you need to stage your bix and then approach on foot or whatever, or if you're QRF, whatever the case is, realistically, um, or even mission, mission dictates it, you can have an extra front. So this is a Spiritus Mark V with the CCS pouch on a Spiritus Thing 1. Um, I didn't take it off the Spiritus Thing 1 because uh, I didn't want to fuck with it for this video. But anyway, you can, you can pop this off, kind of the same idea as this. Unclip these, take it off, put this on, or this on, or whatever, and, um, you know, run it. So, with this, you can fit a couple bottles of water, some snacks if you really wanted to, additional land navigational equipment, anything like that. Um, there's a ton of stuff you can run with this. Um, one thing that I did really like about this rig was that it has kind of a built-in sleeve in the back for documents, notebooks, administrative things. So you could keep you know, a pen on you in a shoulder pocket or in these little loopies or whatever. And then uh, you can run maps of the area via uh, you know, uh, marking panels. Whatever the case is, you can run it in here. And it's especially nice if you're like in a vehicle and you can kind of loosen up the cummerbund where it doesn't need to be as tight on you because you're not running. And you know, if you need to pull out a map to check the area, you can reach in, pull it out, notebooks, whatever. So it's always on you. Um, and then it doesn't take up any of the real estate here. So yeah, you can run it here. You can run another thing in here with an internal mag pod. Like there's so many different configurations you can do, but this is built in. If you have the rig on, you can put in all your things and your documents and your notebooks and all that shit. So it's a really nice feature that I do enjoy. Um, but yeah, that is it for now.